In this video I'll explain how to change the colors of a ggplot2 box plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, you can see that a new window is opened and in this window, the structure of our data is illustrated. And as you can see, our data contains two columns, whereby the first column is containing numeric values and the second column is containing a group indicator. Now let's assume that we want to draw our data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines six and seven of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line seven of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geomboxplot, as you can see in lines nine and 10 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new box plot has been created. However, you can also see that this box plot is not showing any colors yet. So let's assume that we want to change the color of the borders of each of the boxes. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 12 and 13. So in these lines of code, I'm using basically the same syntax as in lines nine and 10. However, this time I'm also specifying the call argument to be equal to our group indicator. So if you run lines 12 and 13 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that our box plot is updated. And this time each of the boxes in our box plot is shown in a different color. And you can also see that we have added a legend identifying each of the boxes on the right side of the plot. In this plot, you can also see that the boxes themselves are colored in white. However, if we want to change that, we can use the fill argument as you can see in lines 15 and 16 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that our box plot is updated once again. And as you can see this time, the borders of the box are shown in black. However, the boxes themselves are shown in different colors. And again, we have added a legend on the right side of the plot. Now, as you have seen in the previous examples, we have used the default color palette of the ggplot2 package. So if you want to manually specify the colors that you want to use in your plot, then you can apply the code that you can see in lines 18 to 21. So in these lines of code, I'm again using the fill argument, but then in addition to the fill argument, I'm also using the scale fill manual function, as you can see in lines 20 to 21 of the code, to change the filling colors of our boxes. And within the scale fill manual function, I'm specifying the breaks argument to be equal to our group indicator. And then I'm also specifying the values argument to be equal to the colors that I want to use. So note that in this case, I'm using hex color codes for some of the colors and names of the colors in other cases. So if you run lines 18 to 21 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated once again. And as you can see this time, we have used manually specified colors. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to change the colors of a ggplot2 box plot using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.